This video is a continuation of my previous video where I taught you how to get OS login enabled for instances. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get OS login enabled and have a user with certain permissions for these instances. For example, I'll create three instances, dev, test, and prod, and all of them will have OS login enabled. After that, I will create a new developer, a new dev user using G Suite. And after that, for that particular user, I will give certain accesses, access controls for those instances. For example, the dev instance will have complete access for the user. The test will have no root access, whereas the prod instance will have absolutely no access for that particular user. So let's start. First, I will do is I'll create those three instances. So I'll create a dev instance. I already have OS login enabled at the project level, so I don't need to configure that here. I'll create a test and I'll create a prod instance. So while these instances are being created, I'll create a new user. So for that, I will go to IAM and I'll go to identity and organizations. So mind you for this to work, you have to have access to an organization. So I'll select and I'll go to the admin panel for the G Suite. I'll just verify this. Here I'll create a new user. So I already have a new user, uh, a username developer, so I'll give this as my new developer. And I'll create this user. So after this, let me log in using my new developer account. So I'll add another account. So after I've created my account, I need to give access to that particular user. So I'll go to my project. So I will add that new user here so that he's able to access this project. So 
same. I will just give him a viewer role. If I go to my new user now and if I try to log in, it will give an error because this particular user doesn't have OS login access to any of these resources. So to enable that, we go back to the admin. We select that project, we select the user and we need to add a few conditions. So I'll click on edit. And I need to add two roles. The first role would be an admin access to the, to the dev box, to the dev instance. So I'll go to compute engine. I'll go to OS admin login and here I'll add a condition. So the condition is that the name of the resource, uh, let's say that it should just end with dev. Or you can just say it should be dev. Either way is fine. I'll give the name as dev and I'll add another condition. So again, the same compute. And here I will not choose the admin, I'll just choose the normal OS login. And I'll add that same condition, but instead of dev, I'll just keep it as test. So the name of the resource should end with test. And I will save this. If I try to log in again, it will still not work. So the reason for that is that this particular instance has a service account and that service account has to be linked to this particular user. So to do that, I go back to my IAM. I go to service accounts. I go to that service account, which is linked to that instance. Click on permissions. Here I need to grant access to that new user. So the name of the user is my, and I need to grant the service account user access and I click on save. If this does, if this is not done, then the whole process does not work. So this is probably one of the more important points to remember while you're setting this up. So once I have done this, I will just wait for a few minutes because it takes a little time to work. I will just go back through, go back and check all the steps that have been done. So I'll go to IAM. I'll edit this and check if everything is set properly. Okay. This looks fine. And the other important thing is you need to go to service accounts and you need to make sure that the new user has a service account permission. So everything seems to be set. So if I try to log in now, it should work. Okay, it has worked. And if I try to do a sudo, it was able to do a sudo, so it was able to log into the root. So let me try to do the same again for the test account. Okay, it was able to log into the test. If I do a sudo now, it does not let you. So this also has worked and basically you should not have access to prod at all. So let's see if this works.
So this was not able to connect to the fraud instance, as you can see. So this is how you set up OS login so that you are able to give access to certain instances and not give access to others. So hope this lecture was helpful for you. Thank you.